Hey, Chris here. I just wanted to check in and make a little low effort video and share what I'm working on in progress as opposed to just sharing finished uh, pro products. So um, what I'm working on is tops. So my idea is that I want to make a top that I spin um, by blowing air on it so that I could have a perpetually spinning top. Uh, my thought is that when you spin a top, it's got uh, rotational kinetic energy and uh, it keeps spinning because of its inertia. Um, but working against that are um, the friction of the surface contact and maybe a little bit of air friction. Uh, so those are sapping um, energy out of the top and its speed uh, is decreasing. Um, and the top is balancing because of its gyroscopic forces and below some threshold, that some, some angular velocity threshold, the gyroscopic force gets too weak. Um, then the top tips over and crashes and, and stops. Um, so all I need to do is put a little bit of energy into the top by blowing air on it and just enough to counteract the um, contact friction. So I started by uh, spinning a top on a table and I blew air on it with my little with computer fans and I made little paper nozzles um, and I found this to be completely ineffective. Um, and what that got me thinking is that um, when you're spinning the top, the edges of the top are actually spinning uh, pretty fast. Um, and I need to blow air on the top faster than the top is moving. Um, otherwise, even though I'm, if, if I'm blowing air on it and it's moving slower than the top, even though I'm blowing air, it's still dragging on the top. So I need to go faster than the top, on the, I need to go faster than the top uh, in order to push on it. Um, so the next step was to measure how fast the top spins. Uh, so I made a little top speedometer by painting a, a black mark on my top. Um, and then I used a, a photoresistor um, and I put the photoresistor in a straw and I, I wrapped the straw in aluminum tape to make it um, opaque. And, and with this, I made a little top speedometer. So here is my photoresistor and an LED to shine light on the thing. Uh, and the photoresistor, I don't know if you can see it there. It's, it's in the, uh, deep in that straw. The, the, yep. Um, so I wired this in a voltage divider circuit to convert these resistance changes into voltage changes and, and connected my scope to it. And I found that um, I could get a two volt um, signal. But once I spun it, I learned that this photoresistor is not really great for the application because it has kind of like a, a rise time or a latency or it's slow to react to changes. Um, that wave that it creates is only maybe two to 300 millivolts um, peak to peak. But still I, could, I was able to measure the speed of the top um, using my oscilloscope. I start spinning and it spins at about 25 Hertz the velocity drops by about one hertz for every five seconds. Um, and again and again, I found that the minimum speed of this top was 13 hertz. 13. Every time I hit 13 hertz, the top would uh, fall over. If this is spinning at 13 hertz, then that means the edge of the top is moving at 1.6 meters per second or 2.23 miles per hour. So that's actually not as fast as I was expecting. Uh, that's like the speed of someone walking. So I thought, okay, maybe my computer fan will do it. Um, so I 3D printed this nozzle and um, <clears throat> I put the nozzle on the fan. And what I found is that um, this fan cannot handle pushing air down such a nozzle. Um, when, I, when I powered this up, there was no perceptible air coming out of the end here. So um, I need to do some research to figure out um, how to make a fan that can move air uh, fast. Um, anywho, that's my little top story. Um, if you know anything about fans that can move air quickly, uh, please let me know. The reason I'm making this video is because I'm interested in finding other people to hack with. Um, so if you're interested in, in working together, I live in the South San Francisco Bay Area. And if you're nearby, reach out to me on Instagram. I'm at Leigishe. Um, and in any case, thank you all for uh, watching and subscribing. And um, have a nice day. Bye.